Welcome Aquarius, welcome to this sneak peek preview of a much longer video that I have available on Etsy for those of you who value an in-depth reading covering the next three months, the last quarter of this year, where I go way deep with astrology and looking at cards for October, November, December, and I close out with a bit of advice. And for those of you who don't know about it, I had to put this video out. I've let people know on my community page, but it's occurred to me that many of y'all are not even aware because only the people who have subscribed and activated the bell for notification would see what's on my community page or be notified when that content is available. So I'm putting this short little message out for you, but it looks as though this is a month where we're working on manifesting some things, maybe having some difficulty in getting renewal, but it's definitely, you know, on the menu. And I will say about the first 30 minutes of this reading, I talk about the astrology for us. Where is Saturn? Where are we getting limitations, restrictions? How are we dealing with karma in our sign? Very significant. Also, Jupiter, where's your good luck? Where's your good fortune? Where are you going to get those breaks during the last three months of this year? And I talk about other important transits that you want to keep in mind, the eclipses that are coming at the end of October and also November. Very important to prepare for. These are holy shifts that are coming up for us. And then I also talk about, you know, what's going on with Mars, okay, uh, Mars in Gemini and Mars uh, retrograde, which is pretty significant over the next seven months, actually. And so that's going to help us prepare ourselves and get ready for what's coming next year, which I do cover a bit of just a little preparatory sneak peek into what the astrology is going to be and how uh, for next year and how to get ourselves ready for it. Now, when we get into the monthly cards, I am pulling for general energies that you see here which is showing look right out the gate there's a lot of movement going on for us Aquarius a lot of action a lot of also people probably involved in trying to get that happiness and trying to get that balance in your life but there could be something off with a give and take and I think in your love life things are a little bit unclear in this month of October but you know as things progress we're going to see um, that the things you know may feel stuck or out of balance or stagnant but things are going to develop um, quite nicely I think possibly you know with new love or renewal of love by the end of the year and also financially getting some kind of uh, balance if you feel things are not balanced right now in October it looks like things are going to start leveling out in October and the cards show that so yeah once we get into the November cards you can see that I'm looking at general energies and uh, these red cards have to do with your love life and it's showing how yeah there could be some difficulties and things coming together and definitely trust and balance and healing seem to be important to you but um, somebody might come in okay in October I think definitely by the end of this year and um, as we get into the cards even for December that seems to confirm that Aquarius, you could have new love or renewal of love coming in by the end of this year. If you're having trouble manifesting right now, just stay encouraged because I think things are going to really shift positively for you. And you've got some new beginnings. Look at this new partnership right here in the general reading. Super positive. A lot of people showing up for you as well. And I think that's encouraging. That's something as a fellow Aquarian, I know we've been wanting that for quite some time. Um, but I do have some words of caution here <laughs> um, that, again, you will have to go watch the video to see what that is about. I clarify as needed. You can see a lot of clarifiers um, get pulled out here for you, Aquarius. And then finally, we get into advice. Oh, we got some little sexy cards right there. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to spoil it for you. You've got to go over there. Um, but look, the Oracle cards seem to indicate that um, you could be having a little bit of a getaway with somebody special by the end of this year. And I'm loving that. Look at these cards showing up definitely around the holiday time, the next new moon, which, um, yeah, uh, we, <laughs> we're we there, okay? We, we've already come into that new moon, by the way. So we're in the thick of it right now. If you don't see it right now, stay encouraged. And of course, if you want to know more, absolutely come over to my Etsy shop. And make sure uh, you follow the shop if you are interested in staying tuned with, you know, more of the content that I have only on Etsy. If you are interested in Leo, Libra, and Cancer, by the way, those are over there as well. I'm only doing requested signs. I will soon put out a request for, you know, 
feedback on what signs you guys would like for the annual 2023 readings. Just side note, okay? But I've, of course, got my other resources on there, my Handmade Sage Spray and my books on video for those of you who are interested in that. And if you also just want to make sure that you are notified on YouTube whenever these new little things come available, then make sure that you click that bell for notifications, all notifications, in addition to subscribing. And then you're going to see all kinds of things like my free stuff, which is twice a month, every full and new moon, me, you know, doing uh, lives and letting you know that we're about to go live and getting requests and Again, when new stuff is on Etsy, I'm posting it here on my community page and giving you little tidbits here in writing of what is available, okay? So I hope that helped you all out. And if you want to know more and get more details, like I said, hope to see you over on Etsy. You have a great last quarter of 2022.